What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the Rugby Channel and today we have a really, really, really weird video to do today and today's video is Rugby Team's Weirdest Merchandise Yeah, it's quite, a, like I said, it's going to be a weird video but I've managed to find some of the weirdest possible official stuff that you can find on like the official sites say like the Welsh Rugby Union uh, England Rugby Union Australia Rugby Union and so on so uh, yeah there's some really weird things in today's video so let's get into it welcome back to another rugby video please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button to show your support for the channel and if you are new please go ahead and subscribe we upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed so please click the notification button so you don't miss out Okay, so first up we have this monstrosity of a rugby shirt d done by the WRU. Uh, as you can see, it's basically a rip-off of Where's Wally or Where's Waldo, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to be seen in this, personally. White and red stripes all over, and then a black collar. And it's obviously got the official Welsh Rugby logo on it. Like I said, I wouldn't want to wear it. I wouldn't really want to see anybody wearing it. Um, but it's each to their own. It's <laughs> each to their own. That's all I can say. Next up, then, we have this. I'm literally looking at it right now. Uh, this terrible Hawaiian Wallabies top, as you can see. Um, I think, personally, this is probably worse than the Welsh one, which we just looked at. I literally. Ah, uh, the patterns do not go. I, I, can, I understand it's a Hawaiian top and it's meant to look terrible, but. Ah, this is just the worst. Really, really bad. Really, really, really bad. Okay, so next up, we have another really weird, like, kind of, well, sticking with the theme yellow. Uh, we have this very strange island training top. So, uh, as you can see, it's black and yellow, and then it's got green at the top of it. I can understand if it kept it, like, black and yellow, it wouldn't look half bad, but... Yellow and green, really, Ireland. Like, you don't put that together, mate. That's just terrible. Um, I mean, like I said, if you get rid of the green, it's not a bad top. Uh, but, I mean, I kind of had to involve every team in, well, every possible team in this. I had a bad sort of colour texture going on. And this is one of the prime examples. So, very, very bad. Okay, so sticking with very bad things. Obviously, that's the whole video. So, what am I on about? This is a thing, an official product on the England Rugby site. Uh, <laughs> I like it's, it's obviously it's just a rubber. I mean, you're probably thinking like, oh my, what are you on about? It's just a rubber. This is merchandise. Look at the price of it. It's a blue rubber saying Scrum, and it's what? What is that? It's probably really expensive. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two pound ten. Was originally three quid for a rubber. Mate, that's just ridiculous. Three quid for a blue rubber saying Scrum. It could have at least had the logo on it. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. I'm sorry, but if somebody bought me that, I'd be really disappointed. Like, here you go, son. Here's your stationery kit, some pens and stuff. Oh, great. And then there's your main thing in the stationery kit. This Scrum rubber. Thanks. Thanks. We're going back to fashion stuff now. And, uh... Ah, this is just horrific. Look at this. This is France's uh, official shoes, which they're selling. I mean, it's each their own again. If you want to, if you like wearing stuff like that. But me personally, I just think it looks absolutely shocking. Look at it. Black shoes, canvas woven things underneath, and the French flag, and it just overall looks terrible. I'm not a fan of those shoes, so it might just be me. But ah, I don't know. That's just. Terrible, 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 terrible. Okay, so next up is probably one of the worst possible things I have ever seen. And I'm not exaggerating this one. This is literally the most drastic rugby jersey of all time. This is an Australian top, as you can see here. Uh, and they've just tried to make it theme for fishing. But, ah, that's just terrible. Look at it. It's, it's like a rip-off of the Wallabies top. And then it's got a, like a ruler measurement on the side of the sleeve, and then a giant fish. I can understand it's meant to be novelty. Obviously, nobody in the right mind would go, "Mate, that's sick! I'm gonna wear that." They could have done it better than that. That's just ah, it's horrendous. If somebody bought me this, I would be very disappointed. I'd probably start to question my friendship with that person. So, if anybody actually has this in the world, let me know in the comment section. Were you happy with this? Because it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it just, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Okay, so up next, we're gonna still, we're basically going through all fashion stuff now. 
Uh, and this is the official Springbox shoes. Uh, this, it just sounds like a really weird sentence to say that. Uh, so as you can see, I don't know if they're leather or not, I haven't actually got the information on it. Uh, but they were pretty expensive. Uh, and they're just like black, like brown tan shoes. Green underneath, green laces and Springbok logo. I mean, I can understand if you're going to wear it for a match. Uh, but for the price they're charging, I, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I'm sorry, but I, I, if I saw somebody wearing them, I would probably go like, What are those? Because that is just... It just looks terrible. I don't know what to say. Like all these are terrible. Like wh how do you describe that? What words do you actually put with those shoes? It's just shocking. Absolutely shocking. You don't have brown shoes and green underneath. Like terrible. Okay, so up next we're going to Christmas now. And the WRU released a Christmas jumper. I think last year. Now look at this bad boy here. This is just insanely beautiful in every single way. <laughs> So as you can see, it's just a red jumper with like holly patterns on it and just the whales, to uh, the whales logo. They were originally charging twenty six pound for this, so uh, t I, I wouldn't even pay eleven quid for a Christmas jumper, let alone twenty five pound for something that looks that bad. Just no, just no words, no words. I think if somebody bought them out for me, I would be very disappointed. I think I would be disappointed in anything that anybody buys for me with like, if it was on this list. But obviously me being a Wales fan, and being from Wales, I'm more likely to end up with something this <laughs> So, um, yeah, anybody that is friends with me out there, never buy me this, because I would be very disappointed in you. So I also forgot to show this in the video. Uh, yeah, these are a thing you can buy your partner. Great! Okay, so last item now. Uh, this one has actually been brought up, uh, not so much because it looks bad, but more of the fact of the price of it. Uh, so this isn't actually any of the main nations now. This is USA. And uh, USA, I've obviously got like limited merchandise, as you could imagine. Um, because obviously it's not as popular as NFL and soccer and stuff, which is understandable. Uh, but if you go on their official site and onto their shop, you will find this monstrosity. So as you can see, it's just a, it's literally just a cooking apron. And it's got a tiny little logo on it. Look at the price. £27 for a basic plain white apron with a tiny logo. Like, that's just insanely expensive. What does it actually say? Thanks to the embroidered apron, you don't have to worry about keeping your clothes clean when cooking. The neck loop and long ties, two front pockets. Oh, mate. Thank God for the two pockets. Now it makes it worth it, you know. If it didn't have those two pockets, I would literally be... Not in a good mood. Not in a good mood. So, I suppose the two pockets makes it worthwhile. It really doesn't. Okay, guys, without further ado, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy. It was a bit of fun, this video. Uh, if you guys want to see a part two, make sure you go and smash the like button down below. If we can get to, let's say, 40 likes on this video, uh, I will make a part two of trying to find the worst possible merchandise out there for rugby. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section if it's something I have missed. Uh, I'm intrigued to know about these, because uh, they're literally these sho they're shocking. If I had to have one thing from this list, I might, that was really pushing it, like, you have to have one possible thing that you have to scavenge from this monstrosity of a list, it would probably be the island top. Only because it's not as bad looking compared to the rest. Or, failing that, the rubber. The terrible, terrible rubber. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section, like I said, if I've missed anything. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe as well. We upload rugby videos every single week, guaranteed. Literally, we do about three videos every week. So if you're a rugby fan or a sports fan, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, make sure you click the notification button as well so you don't miss out on any of our videos because sometimes we do live streams as well. And obviously, if you have the notification button clicked, you will be notified whenever I upload. So, you know, it's a massive perk. So please go ahead and do that. Uh, and yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I have been Andrew. I will see you in another video. Peace out, guys.